good morning. Well, slightly afternoon. It is March the 30th, and it's time for our daily reading uh, from An Almanac for Moderns, A Daybook of Nature by Donald Coros Pudi. March 30th. Archaic and obsolete sounds the wisdom of the great old Greek. Life, his pronouncement ran, is soul-pervading matter. What? Soul in a jellyfish? An oyster? A burdock? Then by soul he could not have meant that moral quality which Paul of Tarsus, or Augustine of Hippo, were to call soul. Aristotle is talking rather about that undefined but essential and precious something that just divides the lowliest microorganism from the dust, that makes the ugly thousand-legged creature flee from death, that makes the bird pour out its heart in morning rapture, that makes the love of man for woman a holy thing sacred to the carrying on of the race. But what is this but life itself? In every instance, Aristotle but affirms that living beings are matter pervaded by a noble, a palpitant, and thrilling thing called life. This is the mystery, and his neat cosmology solves nothing of it. But it is not Aristotle's fault that he did not give us the true picture of things. It is nature herself, as we grow in comprehension of her, who weans us from our early faith. And that's the reading for today, March 30th. See you tomorrow.